golfers, we're still working on the golf club and let's take a look at this video from Gears. And this is just the tour average with an I seven iron. And we just want to take a look at what that club is doing in the backswing. So I got, these are synced up. So right now you can see as that club goes back and we'll hit a couple of key points, checkpoints for you right here, which is when the shaft is parallel to the ground. A couple of things you can see is one, the shaft is, um, also slightly inside relative to the target line. And in this case, this swing path is, is roughly about three, a little bit more than three degrees inside out. Biggest thing I want you to notice, and let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger. Let's take a look at that club face. So again, we see that club face staying square to its path. So some things to check out, and you can see this is just coming up with the tour average. So we can see this idea of toe up is gone. It just creates too much club face rotation. So from there, if the club stayed on plane, that would continue to go flatter, but now we can see it start working up. And from the top view, this is just more of a feel or a sense of where the club is at the top. Now, because it's also shorter of parallel, it's also going to look a little bit more laid off, or in this case, it looks like it's kind of pointed to the left slightly. But that's just because the club's in a three-quarter position and it's not necessarily laid off relative to any particular alignment. So that's one thing you have to be uh, concerned of is when the shaft is at the top, if it's not parallel to the ground, it's really kind of a difficult situation to kind of identify if it's, a, if it's on line or off line or is it across the line. So this may appear laid off, but it's actually just short of parallel. That's all that is. So looking at how this club transitions, you can actually see as the club's working down, especially right here, we see this center of mass dropping down right here. And that's really just something dynamically that happens. We don't have to even worry about trying to do that intentionally. If we go in and load the that trail wrist up, that happens dynamically as we kind of start moving those arms forward, which we'll get into in other videos. But this, I just want to give you Again, now when we get back to shaft parallel to the ground, we can see how, again, how this lines up. So this is very symmetrical in a sense uh, relative to the backswing. Now it has come in. There's been a shifting of the hand path. But right now you can see how well this club lines up and then produces that shot. And then this part you can see here where it does pretty much stay on this Dr. Kwan's functional swing plane from here through here. And then it starts working again, working off of that. So again, there's that helical trajectory for what uh, that club's going to do. So just want to produce this little quick video just to show you what that club is doing with an iron. And uh, stay tuned for our next segment as we continue to jump into this, what the club does with the driver. Thanks for watching. <music>